are away and it is the red shirt of Castring just ahead of Cowser and Chirello. So Chirello, the Swiss paddler, would fancy his chances. They're sitting in third position at the moment. Ooh, a little bit tight there, but they all get around. So Chirello and Cowser having a good old battle for second place here. Castring has got away. He is, oh, look at that, a little bit of confusion there. And Cowser has been knocked deep. And he's got a bit of ground to make up now because Chirello has got an advantage. Cowser got shunted out of the way by Titoua and Castric. So Castric in front, Chirello sitting second. Is Cowser going to make a move for Chirello? Is he going to go after him? Let's see. They're going to go to the same side of the course, are they? Yes. Cowser tries his best. He's trying to get under him. Meanwhile, Castric is away. Cowser gives up. He said, no, no, today is your day, Julindo Chirello. I'll let you go through. And I'll do a bit of a victory lap here, Peter Cowser. He's all smiles, though. A lot of fun, the kayak cross. The athletes really enjoy the, uh, the argy-bargy, I think, of the competition. But Cowser is out. So Castric and Chirello through. Now, you can see, looking at the start, I think if you are on the as you face the water, the left-hand side of the platform, I think you do get a bit of a start with that current from the water. It probably gives you just a little advantage. Not much, but a little advantage when you hit the, hit the water. We've seen some of the athletes coming from that side of the platform doing very nicely at the start. Oh, hang on a minute. Did he? No, Chirello, he didn't take his hand off his paddle, did he? He's gone through, so you're not allowed to take the hand off the paddle and move the, the gate. But I think he was okay. I think these tired old eyes.